thingy. Ooh, that's that. I am popular. Okay. What's up you guys, it's your girl Margo here back again with another video um, and today I'm doing the 10 things I wish I knew before college video you guys requested it on my Instagram um, actually I put up a poll every day right before I'm gonna start filming a video I always do this so that you guys have a say in what goes up on my channel as well I'm not just doing this for me, I'm doing it for you guys as well I forgot to ask, please watch until the very end of the video. I have a surprise for you guys that I'm very proud to talk about. Yeah, so let's get started. Number one, college is definitely not like in the movies. Um, I don't think I'm the only one who's seen Legally Blonde, but college is nothing like that. I took a lot of time and energy into choosing the college that I wanted, and it was difficult because I didn't know what I was looking for at the time, but college was definitely, when I first got here, it was nothing like what I saw in the movies. I still loved it anyway. I just had to keep my mind open and understand that whatever was going to happen was going to happen, and that was going to be fine. Two hours later. No? Okay. Number two. You might want to take high school with you to college. Please don't. <laughs> I've had some encounters with people that just... It's such a high school thing and I don't understand how someone could do that. Like, like I understand that people would want to bring the best four years of their lives here to the next best four years of their lives, but that's not how the world works. You can't, you need to give yourself room to grow. And you can't, you can't be dragging all this baggage around with you because it's just gonna mess you up. It's just gonna bring you down. Number three. I'm sure a lot of you, if you're watching this video and you've already started your college process, you've heard this a million times, or maybe you have parents who really want you to join up a law firm or something. But just know that you don't have to know what you want to do right away. If you do, that's great, but the majority of the population won't. I don't, I know that I was passionate about sustainability when I came into college, but I definitely didn't make my decision coming in. I just made my decision three months ago, and that was tough. I knew that if I declared, I would be starting down the road to my future. And I knew that if I, didn't make the right decision, it was going to be hard on me. But I'm confident that I made the right decision and that's why I chose sustainability. But just know that that doesn't have to be you. And it probably won't. Number four. If you're like me and you didn't make a lot of friends in high school or middle school, you should know that you will make friends but you have to put yourself out of it. You have to be willing to go out and <laughs> travel outside of your dorm and go out and make those connections. I was very fortunate that my college actually does like a freshman welcome week, so I wound up meeting a lot of my friends during the first week of my high school, of my, of my college experience, and that was very lucky for me. But I had to put myself out there, I had to move outside my comfort zone in order to do that. Number five, as long as you're taking classes that you're 100% certain that you're gonna enjoy, you'll be fine. Last semester, I took an economics class, it was macroeconomics class, that I was not 100% certain that I was gonna enjoy, and when I went back home for my break, my math teacher even was like, why did you do that to yourself? And I was like, I don't know. So I made sure that this semester I took some classes that I knew for 100% certain I was gonna enjoy. I took, um, right now I'm taking a class called the Economics of Sustainability, which is 
going to be interesting, but I'm hoping that the sustainability portion sort of cancels out the economics part of the class. Fingers crossed. Number six. There will be opportunities that will fall into your lap, so just take them. I know this past semester I got an email, I just was sorting through my emails and all of a sudden I come across an email inviting me to go on a trip to Nepal. And I was like, um, yeah, I've never been to Asia, I have no idea what this trip is going to entail. But because I signed up for a certain class, they had ex they just happened to have extra spots on the trip and they offered some of the freshmen to go. And that's a really amazing opportunity, especially since I've never been to Asia before. I've been to other places with my friends and my family, but nothing like Asia. And I'm sure I'm going to have an amazing time just because I took the opportunity when it came across. So just keep your mind open and I promise those opportunities will come. Number seven. The freshman 15 can be avoided. <laughs> Whether you're someone like me who's not really that into athletics and who happened to come across a campus that was all stairs and all hills, you'll be fine. My freshman 15, obviously, I wasn't expecting it to come across, but now I know for a fact it's not because I, I have to go up, what, 50 stairs to get to class every day? That's cardio in itself. I, I'm doing cardio every day without even realizing it. So, freshman 15, canceled. And for those of you who don't happen to go to a campus that is all hills, and maybe your campus is all flat ground, find a set of stairs. Line up four times a day. You'll be fine. Number eight. It's very easy to spend money when you live in a great city. <laughs> Oneonta is a fantastic city. It only takes 10 minutes for me to walk down the hill into town and buy whatever I want. And then another 20 minutes if I want to go into the South Side Mall. I mean, it's a walking distance away from anything that I want. And that's hard. <laughs> right now, I know that I'm running out of money and it's almost the end of the year, so I have to be careful about what I choose to spend my money on. I know at the beginning of the year, all my friends wanted to do was go out and have dinner. Then a lot of them had to make sacrifices because they didn't have enough money to last them through the year. And that will happen. Just make choices carefully and you'll be fine. Number nine, I know this is an obvious one since we're going into college, but go out and have fun. Not too much fun, but have fun. I just had a few friends who made some choices that they're not necessarily too proud of, and they got kicked out. So just be careful. But I'm pretty sure you'll all be fine because I have faith in you. <laughs> You can go out and have fun and go to parties and spend time with your friends. Just be careful and make good choices because that's important. <laughs> and finally, number 10. No matter what happened in the first 18 years of your life, just know that everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to. I know for me, I had a very, very difficult time in high school and I'll make a video about that later. And things happened and I wasn't quite sure what my future was going to hold especially in my freshman year of high school, when I didn't even know if college was going to be in the picture. My grades were so bad. I'll make a video about that later. Fun story time. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of this video, I have a surprise for you guys. I just launched my first website. It's called the sustainablerose.com. Um, since I'm a sustainability major and I'm in on those rows, I just kind of figured it works. So I'm going to leave the link down in the description and I hope you guys will go check it out. Um, it'll have more information about each of the videos that I'm going to post and um, so with each video there will be a blog post to match it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and please don't forget to like and subscribe wherever the subscribe button is. Please go check it out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Bye!